Hello, welcome back to the Indie Ocean video review and let's play Selection. Today's morsel in this medley of treats is part two of my Let's Play of Dead Pixels. If you missed the first part, or you're just completely unfamiliar with Dead Pixels, it's kind of a 70s zombie B-movie themed 8-bit style roaming survival adventure thing. Last time we left, we were at a trader, and we'd raced through two streets, well, actually really, we dawdled through two streets of the ten we need to work through to get to the other survivors who have a helicopter. We're going to try and make some faster progress this time, though. Don't want to take all year getting to the helicopter. So I'm going to be a bit more liberal with my use of ammunition, especially with these spitting guys. God, I hate those bastards. I don't know whether that's consciously a Left for Dead reference, but the spitters always remind me of that anyway. Oh, two of them as well. Spitting right in my face. God, it's like being in Liverpool. At least they drop a lot of money if you kill them. Unlike in Liverpool. So, racing on down the street. Um, incidentally, I'm not sure how this will show up on YouTube, but from what I can tell, my capture card isn't recording any sound this time. It does that from time to time, because it's a willful little bastard. Mostly it's fine but occasionally I have to punch it vigorously to make it pick up the sounds of the in-game audio. And clearly today I didn't punch it hard enough. So you'll just have to cope with my confused newsreader ramblings and no meaty shotgun sounds or anything. Alright, head into this building, have a search, grab some ammo, always good. Hello, zombie daddy. <laughs> Appropriate person to come online while I'm playing this. Okay, another trader. Always useful. Let's offload some of the few things I've picked up. It's not long since the last trader, so I don't have all that much stuff. Fireworks? I don't know. I don't even know what they do. Let's get rid of them. The $140 might be more useful to me. All of these are pretty useful. The flare isn't great. If memory serves, it draws the zombies away from you for a few seconds. So it can be a lifesaver when things get really hectic. Ammo is always good. Don't have enough money to buy any upgrades or anything. Tempted to buy another weapon, but I usually hang on till I happen to find one somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Still run-of-the-mill zombies at this point. Nothing too exciting. Ugh. Okay, it's getting to the point where I really can't melee the zombies with any great success, because it's getting to the point where there are too many of them. Grab this stuff, including a Judas Priest album, which no doubt the trader will take off my hands. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a terrible joke, but anyone who knows me will know that all my jokes are terrible, so you'll just have to live with it, I'm afraid. Hey, only $84 for a classic metal album? Philistine. Okay, I don't need four flares, so just get rid of some of those. This really is a dilapidated hole, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of Miami. I passed through Miami briefly during a holiday in Florida about 12 years ago. And this is pretty much what it looked like. Apart from the seafront. The seafront was all the flash hotels and Miami Vice stuff that you see on TV, but the rest of it was pretty much like this. Including the zombies. It was very bizarre. Selena's shop. Mystery meat again. Oh, I do love my mystery meat. That sounds wrong. Forget I said it. God left us. I don't know who that guy in the stained glass windows is meant to be. Maybe it's meant to be 8-Bit Jesus. If so, he's not quite what I expected. Junk food. Miscellaneous junk food. At least it's a change from the mystery meat. And this Selena runs a lot of shops. She must be some kind of Donald Trump-like millionaire entrepreneur. God has still left us, thanks to the reminder. Bespectacled Jesus.
Bub's Bar, anything of use? Heavily armoured bar. Heavily armed bar. Bolt action rifle. This is a welcome return. I think I sold my last rifle. Though correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I'm going to keep this one. Because I do like... <laughs> I was about to say I do like penetration. But let's pretend I wasn't about to say that. Um, <clears throat> I like weapons that have a high penetration value. Because they let me rip through crowds of undead. Like this. Stop spitting at me, you uncouth lout. Where do you think you are? Ugh. Junk food and guns. Classic American household. Ha <laughs> ha! What scathing commentary on national stereotypes. Hmm. A lot of ransackable houses around here. It really is Liverpool. Yeah, I'm just going to keep these gags coming. Sorry. Oh, double-barreled shotgun. Now that is very tempting. In true Doom 2 style, the double-barreled shotgun is an absolute beast. Of course, it uses up your shells twice as quickly, but it just destroys anything you point it at. End of the street. On to the next street, which is in fact not a street. It's the middle of a shopping centre. Or a mall, if you insist. Umbrellas. See, it, it's a it's a doubly humorous thing, because it, it seems like it's an umbrella shop, but it's also a reference to Resident Evil. Ooh, what a treat. Flyboy is probably a reference to something. Savini's is definitely a reference to something. Um, he's the guy who did the gory special effects in the shopping mall-centric zombie movie, whatever it is. Can't remember. Something of the Dead. And I'm over-encumbered here for the first time in this Let's Play. I'm just lugging too much shit around with me. So I'll have to discard some of it so I can move. It's like Fallout 3 all over again. Drop the weapons, since they're typically some of the heaviest things. You can see I have my load statistic in the bottom left, so I'll just keep dropping things until that drops low enough. No, not yet. Should have paid more attention to it, really. Oh yeah, I'm still 10 over. So drop this other bolt-action rifle. There, much better. Oh! <sighs> Should have been more observant. There's a trader right there. Right there. Walkers. I don't know if that's a reference. Could be a reference to a brand of crisps, or possibly Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris versus zombies while eating crisps. I'm sure that would be an internet wet dream. Fortunately, I'm not representative of the internet community. Yeah, I'll keep the bolt-action rifle. Uh, that's fine. Another classic album, slightly better rate um, value for it this time. Soap, don't need that in the zombie apocalypse. Disinfectant. Clearly the only surviving thing when zombies destroy civilization is cleaning products. Says a lot about humanity as a whole, if you think of it as a commentary on our species. All that's left after we go is cleaning product and weapons. Okay, upgrades. Uh, what should I get? Health is always useful, but it's also handy to be able to carry extra stuff with strength, to get better prices for things. Go on then. Getting better prices is nice. Um, running speed, that's quite cheap. And it's maybe not the best choice, nor is that. But they're nice bonuses to have. And See, that's doubled our melee power. We were doing 5 points of damage per hit before, and now we're doing 10. Not a huge difference, but considering how much I like to jab my weapon into the faces of my enemies, um, <clears throat> so to speak... Uh, it, it's a it's a mildly useful feature. And the speed upgrade doesn't seem to make a huge difference, but it does make dodging around large crowds of zombies a lot easier later on. And that is something we're going to do more and more as time goes on. Another trader right next to the first. Typical. Sell some of this stuff. Not a lot of it to sell, but 
get rid of it, buy some stuff. I don't have much in the way of first aid kits, so I'll pick up some stronger ones. Because I'm sure I will need them before much longer. And as always, some ammo. Rob Veronica, who sells only shotgun shells. Oh, here we go. It's starting to get busier. I think these bespectacled ginger secretaries, or whatever the hell they're meant to be, drop silver coins. So, yep, yeah, I think they do. So they're worth killing. I always try to kill the ones that drop silver coins. Okay. In keeping with the shopping mall tradition of zombie films, it seems this is where they've all gravitated to. Get away from me! Now I'm starting to suffer from an inconvenient number of weapons. I like to limit it to two, maybe three weapons. Just so that I don't have to spend five... Oh, shit! Zombie horde. Back off! Back off! At least they drop a lot of money, but... Jesus, that can be scary. That one wasn't so bad. But at times when you're already struggling, suffering from a lot of injuries, and you're low on ammo, to have... One of those suddenly descend upon you is nightmarishly awful. Okay, press on. HRH, WRH. No idea what that shot is all about. Zom.com. Apparently this IT slash computing shop sells a lot of weapons and some rope. More umbrellas. A rainy city, clearly. Liverpool again. Medikit, always welcome. Those things are in short supply. And they will become very, very useful as time goes on. Okay, kill some people, get some money. Why all these zombies are carrying small change, I have no idea. Yeah, as I was saying, you saw there, I need to spend a few seconds switching between my weapons, making sure I have the right one. At least it's easy to switch. You use the D-pad to scroll through your weapons. But still, if you end up with... Oh, shit! Get off me! Get away! Um, but if you have, you know, six or seven weapons, it becomes a real chore to try and find the right one. Ugh, no wonder there are so many cleaning products left. We need them. Look at the state of this floor. My mother would be appalled. Actually, my mother probably wouldn't even notice. Five streets from salvation! Ganaki Street. I don't know if that's meant to be a reference, or if the names are randomly generated or what. But it's a very unwieldy street name. Wouldn't want to ask for directions to that. Then again, I live in Wales, so it's not that foreign to me. I think I'll call this video in a minute head into this trader and I might save there because I don't want to end up with enormous 40 minute epics offload my stuff all of these weapons to get it nice and streamlined for my weapon selection is this being run by an old lady what's an old lady doing running a gun shop in the zombie apocalypse I suppose in true game fashion old ladies are the most dangerous class of character Get rid of the junk food, really don't need it. Mm, buy some more medikits, because again, they are useful. And with the health upgrade we got earlier, I think in the last video, obviously small medikits will be less useful than they used to be. Grab some ammo. Some ammo for a rifle as well. I'm not sure what green ammo is for, so I'm going to leave it. They're colour-coded, by the way. Weapons and ammo. Blue ammo. Blue ammo for blue weapons. That's a nice, easy reference that I appreciate here. Before we go, buy some upgrades. Um, again, health, always very tempting. Possibly the most useful. But I might go for strength. Just so I can make more money from carrying more stuff. 
but no. no. Health, I think. Health is generally the most useful. Anyway, join me next time for part three of Let's Play Dead Pixels. Thanks for watching.